This is Threatwire. Chrome has gotten a little safer for Windows users. In Chrome 127, Google has introduced application-bound encryption primitives. Prior to this release, Chrome instances on Windows machines utilize the Data Protection API, which should not protect against info stealers using logged-in users to execute code. Application-bound encryption takes advantage of information of the actual application running to encrypt information, requiring bad actors to achieve another layer of execution to get to sensitive information regarding the Chrome experience. Google says that this type of encryption acts similarly to how Keychain on a Mac works. Google implemented this style of encryption to add a layer of protection against specifically cookie theft, so now cookies will be encrypted using this app-bound process. If you were wondering, on a Mac, as mentioned, Chrome takes advantage of Keychain, while on Linux, Chrome utilizes a system-provided wallet to handle these kinds of encryptions. We had another global outage this past week. Microsoft Azure had a 10-hour outage due to a confirmed DDoS attack. Coming so close after the CrowdStrike incident, it could have even been played off by that, but it turns out it was a completely different thing. At 11.45 UTC, as the network DDoS protection service was disengaged and resuming default traffic routing to the Azure front door service, the network routes could not be updated within one specific site in Europe. This happened because of network DDoS control plane failures to that specific site due to a local power outage. Consequently, traffic inside Europe continued to be forwarded to AFD through our DDoS protection services instead of returning directly to AFD. This event in isolation would not have caused any impact. Microsoft goes on to explain that due to a misconfiguration on their end, traffic outside of Europe was routed to the DDoS protection system in Europe. This load led to an issue causing outages. After detection, a majority of the latency and connectivity issues were resolved within two hours, but took several hours more to resolve all remaining issues. Thank you so much for watching ThreatWire for the week of August 5th, 2024. Honestly, the news was super slow this week, and I bet it's because everyone is saving up their findings to release at Summer Camp. I am so excited. I'm so sorry. It's all I can think about while recording today because I literally leave tomorrow, and I'm so excited to see everyone. So if you see me, don't forget to come up, say hi, ask me for a sticker. I would love to see you. If you do want to support this ad-free show, you can head over to patreon.com slash threatwire, and thank you so much for your support. If you want to find me online, you could find me everywhere at Ending With Allie. Good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.